Yo, what is up guys? Our casting back here with another video. Today we are doing an MTB Elite unboxing. Then we're gonna take these baits, rig it up some rods, and we're gonna go try to catch some smallmouth on them. Um we fished this morning for a little bit, we didn't catch anything, but yesterday I caught four I think. And they're pretty good ones. They're on beds right now, so that's always gonna help us out a little bit. We might go throw some baits on some docks and see if we can't get some smallmouth to bite on these. Alright guys, we're gonna go ahead and open this up. We have the dibble right here. The prices to everything. Since this is an elite box, we got quite a few stuff in it. We got this month's sticker, it's a fish catching a dude. First off, we have some Google line. This is their 15 pound floor carbon. It's 200 yards of it. Looks pretty good. I'm excited to use this. Next we have some Z-Man drop shot baits. They look pretty good. They're called trick shots. They're in a kind of a pink purple color. We have this lifted jigs jig right here. It's a more of a swim jig in like a dirty craw color. And we have these really half these really heavy 3 8 ounce green pumpkin bullet weights. Probably for Carolina rigs only. I wouldn't throw this on a texture rig just because of how heavy they are. Then we have this humongous white swim bait by Boom Boom. We got a frog in our past MTP boxes that were made by the same company. We have Carl's Amazing Baits. This is just a craw pattern crankbait. And then last we have this big old jerk bait by Strike Strike Pro. It's, um, how deep does it say? Uh, I didn't say on the package how deep it dives, but it would be pretty shallow. Okay, we're going to get all these bigs rigged up on some rods, and we're going to throw these out. We probably won't use the Guggen line or the weights, but we'll use everything else since here we can't catch some bass on them. Alright, guys, I just rigged up Dylan with these little tiny Z-Man drop shot baits. He has a spinning reel with some of those on. I am opening this boom boom. Swim bait. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put this on my Abu Garcia Black Max right here. These have a really interesting concept. With oh my god, that's heavy. This thing weighs like 86 pounds. But yeah, you basically run the line through this front part. It comes right here. Then you tie your line to your hook, and it'll pull it tight, like right there. It's a really interesting concept, but. Should sure work. They're tending to bite white lures, especially because it's springtime right now. And they were eating the spin bait yesterday, so. I mean, that is kind of big, but. They are aggressive because they're on bed, so. It's probably gonna work. I just got this ginormous white swim bait rigged up. It is so heavy, we're gonna cast it in the pool real quick. So look at its action. The action on it's astounding. Oh my gosh, I don't know if you guys will see that, but it's so big. But the action on it's amazing. I think I can get a small mouth to bite this. All right, Dylan, let's go find some bass. There's Dylan down there, he's trying to fish. Guys, I think I just knocked the hardest bait. Off of the MTV box. This is that big old white swim bait. This guy bit it a couple times before I finally got him, but he ate it perfectly. Mm. Last shovel's kind of stuck in him good. He's bleeding a little bit. First bait down for the MTB slam. Probably the hardest bait, too. Boom. White swim bait's down. Probably go switch it out for another bait now because I don't really want to throw this anymore because fish miss it a lot. They hit it, but they miss it. So yeah, we're probably going to head back. This place is kind of fished. Head back, switch some baits out, and go try to catch some more. Alright guys, thanks for watching the video. Make sure to like and subscribe and comment down below if you enjoyed the video. Um, the MTV box, it did okay. We did catch one fish on this big old white swim bait, which... Honestly, this was my main goal. I did not think that this was going to work at all. I thought we'd would produce better on, like, like these drop shot baits 
or definitely this jig, but we didn't get to use those, but I did throw that jerk bait around over there a little bit over on that wall. Didn't Dylan got maybe a couple bites, but we fish and fish and fish. The fish just aren't there. It's been kind of gloomy the last couple of days and with that water, and it's just been windy. So all the bass were on beds now since the just wind has been just beating them up. They've kind of moved off. I think, and, but they'll be back as soon as the weather gets nicer again. But yeah, thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.